Okay. Everybody can hear me now? Okay, everybody, welcome to ACA Live. A little bit of technical difficulty there, but you know what? 
it's a live stream and how that's how you can tell it's live, right? So we are absolutely committed in bringing you the absolute best in area talent and tonight's band is really gonna blow you away. They're just gonna knock your socks off. I am so excited and so proud to have them here. I've been listening to them warm up and, and seriously, they describe their music as inspiring, serving to uplift people, serving to um, inspire everyone to live up to their own potential. And uh, so before I hand it over to John Harris and the collective, I wanna thank our sponsors. First, we have Spancrete and the Nagy Family Foundation. They are proud supporters of local artists and our community. Spancrete has been providing safe and innovative building solutions since 1946. And North Coast Center for the Arts, where we aspire to provide a safe and encouraging environment for any musician at any level to come and experience what it is to get better at an instrument. So if you want to check out northcoastcenter.org, we would love to steer you in the direction of piano, voice, uh, bass, and guitar. Um, so I also want to talk about the artwork that uh, you see on the stage behind me. The artwork is by um, a, a really incredible artist. His name is Joe Estrada. He is part owner of the Art Lounge in Menominee Falls, where you can actually check out a lot of great artists. But all of the art you see uh, behind me is for sale. They will put the images up on the screen. And you can contact the Art Lounge in Menominee Falls. I know it's, it's easy to just go on Facebook and find them. I know I'm a, I'm a follower and a friend of theirs. Okay, so um, I, I think I'll just stop talking and get you, uh, you know, just cozy in, move the coffee table out of the way because I know you're going to be dancing. This is going to be an incredible night of music. I am not kidding. Please welcome John Harris and the Collective.
for John Harris and the collective. Woo! So we're just going to cool it down a little bit. We'll let you cool down a little bit. I don't know, but I'm, I'm so happy right now. I can't stop smiling. Let's get to know these musicians just a little bit. Uh, hello, John. Hey, why don't you grab your talk back mic? And we're going to be looking right into that center camera, right? Is that right, Luis? All right. So, uh, John, thanks for being here, and thanks for bringing your band. Why don't you tell us how you met and introduce everybody? playing with several artists in the city, um, and we've been playing for a while uh, on guitar. I, I couldn't tell that at all. <laughs> <laughs> I have Mr. Darren Jones on guitar. Woo! Darren Jones has his band, Darren Jones Live. And then on bass, we have my man, Mr. Calvin Goku Turner. Calvin has his band. He plays with uh, No Seatbelts um, and a couple other people. Um, and this guy, Killing on Keys, is Mr. Justin Wilson. Um, <laughs> so basically how I started, um, me and Justin were playing uh, at church. And I asked him, I said, hey, man, I'm thinking about starting a band. And I said, if I started, would you be interested? He was like, yeah, I'd be interested. I mean, let me know. So <laughs> I had him in mind, and then another member of the collective who's not here, my DJ, uh, Josh. His name is DJ Adamosity. Uh, I'm sorry, Adam Zander. Sorry about <laughs> that. Uh, him, it was him uh, and Justin who started first, and it pretty much came from uh, a group of guys who have creative mindsets and just want to somehow – not be conformed to a box. And that's why I picked the name The Collective. Collective ideas, put everything together, see what we come up with, and here we are. Yeah, it's really, really incredible. I know I'm not the only person that feels this way, so uh, yeah, thanks for putting this together. Um, let's just talk about you a little bit. When did you start playing drums? Was, drum your, was drums your first instrument? Let's get to know your history uh, a little bit. Drums is actually my only instrument. Okay. Um, I started playing drums, according to my mom, 
um, in the kitchen. Okay. The I thought you were going to say in her stomach. She probably <laughs> thought you were <laughs> no. playing typical drums in there. <laughs> playing drums, pots and pans, and it started off. She bought me my first drum set. I beat it to death. Uh, then it pretty much went from there straight to church. Um, no formal training, however. Um, yeah, it started from there. So, Do you remember who was the first artist that you heard that you went, oh, my gosh, like, oh, my gosh, like, blew you away? The first artist that literally changed my perspective musically was this gospel group, Tide Tributing Duo. The band, I would have to say, was phenomenal. Um, after that, I'm sure they can attest, it was Robert Glasper. Um, particular album was Devil Book. This is, is more of a straight ahead jazz CD, but then turns into a fusion. And when they got to the fusion side, it was like, <laughs> so I'd like to say those two. And was your family musical? Did anybody else play instruments? Oh man, my dad, my mom's side of the family, just my older sister, she sings, that's it. Okay. My dad's side of the family, everybody's musical. Okay. Uh, my cousin, Terry Harris, uh, Alan Harris, my aunt Kathy, my uncle Terry. <laughs> wow. uh, I could go on, but yeah. yeah, everybody's pretty much musical on my dad's side. They either sing and play an instrument or they just sing or they just play an instrument. So yeah, yeah. excellent. Well, um, I also want to let everybody at home know that you can support these musicians by going to Venmo or PayPal slash ACA Performers, all proceeds. All your donations do go directly to the musicians. So how else can we support you during this time? Do you have uh, Facebook stuff up? And also, you know, you're going to be at the top of my list of bands to come and see live when, you know, everything is just a little bit easier. So, yeah. uh, You can follow us at Facebook, uh, John Harrison, The Collective, uh, on Facebook. Uh, site is still under construction, but that is pretty much where you'll see everything for us once the world opens up and we can go. Because you're kind of a relatively, you're pretty new, right? Yeah, we're a baby. Yeah. So it's yeah. we're just getting started, you know, starting to walk and right. develop and take shape. So right. yeah, it's pretty exciting. Well, we really look forward to supporting all of you guys. Thank um, you so much. Yeah, really look forward to it. Okay, everybody, so I just want to remind you once again that the artwork that you are seeing is by Joe Estrada from the Art Lounge in Menominee Falls. All the art you do see is for sale. And let's talk about next Tuesday night. Next Tuesday night, we're going to have another jazz night. You know, I love jazz nights, my favorite night. Um, next Tuesday, the 15th, we're going to have Peter Belmer here, so you're not going to want to miss out on that. Okay, so I'm going to hand it back to uh, John Harris and the Collective.
Give it up at home for John Harris and the collective. Seriously, pick up your phones, get on Facebook, start following these guys around. I will see you at one of their live shows very, very soon. Don't forget Venmo, PayPal, slash ACA performers. All of the proceeds tonight do go directly to the musicians. I'm going to see you back here next Tuesday night for Peter Belmer. And don't forget to check out Joe Estrada's art from the Art Lounge. Thanks again to Spancrete, the Nagy Family Foundation, and North Coast Center for the Arts. Matt and Luis doing all the engineering behind the scenes. You guys, seriously stay safe and take care, and I will see you back here next time. Good night.